Hello everybody, welcome back to Sunday Berries. Today we have an exciting swatch and that is Da Vinci watercolors. These colors were suggested to me by one of the subscribers last year and during December I was able to get this on sale and I did get them. What I found out about these colors is that they come in different sets. There are many sets and very interesting ones. However, I decided to get the color mixing set because it comes with three cool primary colors and three warm primary colors. So I was very interested in that. So that is what we're going to be swatching today. As I mentioned before, I have never seen these colors, I have never swatched them before, and today we are going to be taking a first look at them. Let's see what we have here. The first color we are going to be looking at is Hansa Yellow Light. The pigment is PY3. As usual, I will be swatching in mass tone and diluted version. Mass tone. This is quite bright, very smooth. They do come in a 50 ml bottle. So there was no issue there with rewetting or anything like that. Very beautiful, diluted version. Absolutely beautiful, very bright, very vibrant. By the way, if you hear me wheezing, that is because uh, my asthma is crazy today. So please forgive me if I seem a little bit out of breath. The next one up is Red Rose Deep. The pigment is PV19 and I believe this pigment is a quinacridone. Beautiful. Such a breathtaking color in diluted version. Wow. It's a very rich color, even in its diluted version, and quite beautiful as well. I find them to be quite vibrant. The next one up is Thalo Blue. The pigment is PB15. Master. Beautiful Thalo. Very vibrant as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Diluted version. Beautiful. Yes, so far, these three colors are absolutely gorgeous very very vivid and vibrant the next one up is aralite yellow the pigment is py97 
master. Oh, this is such a beautiful warm yellow. Quite gorgeous. And you can see the difference between the Hansa Yellow Light and the Aralite Yellow. This is absolutely warm, and you can see this one, it's almost lemony. And diluted version. Beautiful as well. The next one up is Vermilion, and this is a mix of two pigments, PR188 and PO62. Aston. Very strong, very warm. I'm curious about how this would mix as a red with the other colors because this to me looks more like an orange than a red, almost like a secondary color in itself. Diluted version, beautiful. It's very orange. To be honest, I am feeling quite nervous about this color being used as a primary red. I don't think this would be the perfect choice given the colors that we're seeing here. We'll try some mixing and see what this color can do for us. I'm more convinced about the cool ones. Uh, the vermilion here is not convincing me, and I think it has to do with the orange portion of this mix, because orange, of course, has yellow. The next one up is ultramarine blue. The pigment is PB29. Ultramarine blue is a granulating color, so let's see how this color is going to be granulating for us. Mastone. Wow, this is quite bright. You can see the granulation there. But these colors are very vibrant. Diluted version. Beautiful as well. Now that we're here, and because I have questions about the vermilion, let's take a look at the secondary colors that these two primary sets, the cool and the warm, will yield and see how this vermilion is going to work with the rest of them. I know this will work just fine just by looking at them, but this one is giving me a questionable feeling. So let's take a look at what we have. The first one is going to be a mix between Hansa Yellow Light and Red Rose Deep. This is the orange we are getting and it can go either way. It can be a, more of a red orange or more of a yellow orange. This one it's more or less right in the middle.
it is quite beautiful. The next one is a mix between Hansa Yellow Light and Thalo Blue. Again, this one is probably leaning into that yellow, that Hansa Yellow, but it is almost right in the middle. It could be more of a yellow green or it could go into a blue green. And the next one up will be Red Rose Deep and Thalo Blue. And take a look at this beautiful purple. Wow. So now we're going to take a look at Aralite Yellow and Vermilion. And you can see that while it is an orange, it's more of a yellow orange because Vermilion does have orange in it. So it's like adding double the amount of orange. However, it's still quite a beautiful color. Aralite yellow and ultramarine blue, it's giving us this more toned down green. This one is very earthy and quite beautiful green. And of course it is going to granulate because of that ultramarine blue. And I don't know if you can see this, but it almost feels as if it's rejecting the yellow. And you can see that there is some sort of separation of pigments here. I mean, not completely because you can see the green, but I want to see how that dries because I can still see yellow, pure yellow there. And finally, we have vermilion and ultramarine blue, and we get this purple, which is almost a gray. If you do not use more blue than orange, it looks like a brown. There is obviously a very interesting separation of colors here. You can see the yellow and then green, and here you can almost see the orange from the vermilion right underneath and in certain areas, so it's coming apart. I just want to take a look here. Can you see that orange underneath? It's actually a separation here. It's happening as well, so quite interesting how this ultramarine and the vermilion and the aralite do not mix completely. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow this to dry fully and we'll take a look at this colors once again and I will give you my final thoughts. All right, so what I decided to do was use a little bit extra of the mix over here to make sure that I am seeing what I'm seeing. and. It truly separates, so it's quite interesting because while it's not a super granulation, it does separate from the colors, as you can see here and you can see here. 
Now I want to redo this one. Let me remix this one and we'll try it over here. And while this one is drying, let's talk about the main colors. I find them to be very bright, very beautiful, very vibrant, vivid. Uh, you can tell that you have a very highly pigmented group of colors. I do love the cool colors. They are amazing. The PV19 is absolutely gorgeous. The PY3 also, as well as the PB15. The results of their mixes have been quite vibrant and vivid colors as well. I was quite amazed at the intensity of these colors coming from the primary cool colors. Then I had my questions about the vermilion. However, the surprise of the night for me has been the mixes between the vermilion and the ultramarine and the aralite yellow with the ultramarine. The beautiful green that came out from here seems to be very natural, very earthy in comparison to this green that seems to be more vivid and more modern in in its look. The second surprise is that the granulation here, it's not only a granulating green, but a separating green from the yellow. You can see traces here and we're waiting for this one to dry, but you can see already the separation between the yellow and the blue. The same happened between the vermilion and the ultramarine blue. This is a very muted purple. And of course, it's separated from the vermilion. It's as if they don't want to mix together. And I find that really exciting and you can clearly see it over here. This could easily be used as a shadow violet. It can be used as a gray, depending on the amount of pigment that you use, whether leaning to the vermilion or leaning to the ultramarine blue. I find these two colors completely breathtaking and surprising. I was definitely not expecting separation. I knew they would granulate, but I never thought they would separate this way. It reminds me of super granulation colors from Schmincke and some of the granulating colors from Daniel Smith. So I am very surprised and I promise I will give you a close up of these colors. I do find the colors absolutely beautiful and amazing. I would love to explore other sets from Da Vinci colors. And since I have no experience with Da Vinci colors, perhaps some of you might have it and can tell me if there are other combinations of colors that will create this type of result, because I think this is quite amazing. With that said, my friends, thank you for watching the video. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I really do appreciate it that you're here. And also to all my subscribers, thank you for your constant support. I will also be linking all the materials on the description box below. And with that said, thank you for watching. Please take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Be kind to one another. 
and I will see you on the next video. Until then, bye.